What's up guys, I'm Mike. This is the Great Outside Channel. Today, we're reviewing the Hummingbird Long by Hummingbird Hammock. Got a couple tree straps set up here. Um, they are not the Hummingbird tree straps. They're usually unavailable because they e either are the lightest or they're darn close to the lightest. So they're very hard to come by sometimes. So this is a button lock system. This is amazing. I really was skeptical about this. I mean, yeah, 3D printed button. This material is amazing. We'll get into that in a little bit. So, I don't know. Let's just try it up here for the heck of it. Just run that through. Bam. The quality of this thing is absolutely amazing. Uh, even this, this almost feels like it's made out of stainless steel. This is awesome. Even the, you know, even the little bells and whistles are just amazing on this hammock. I really like it. The ends with the button links have 3D printed buttons. It's 1,500 pound Spectre cord on each end. That's what they make um, their tree straps out of, which, like I said, I don't have those. Reserve parachute fabric, 300 pound rating. It's got triple lock stitching. The stitching is really nice. Uh, it's all nice and straight. Let me see if I can get a good view for you here. Because it's so small. <laughs> you know, it really is small. But that's some tight, nice stitching. Really well made. Uh, these are made in Colorado. It's an all-American company. Um, and everything is made there. Uh, I forget which city. But I really, really love the comfortability of this hammock. There's only, you know, a few drawbacks. For one, there's no bug net. But that is be that's why it weighs so little. I mean, besides all the care they put into the lightweight materials there's just no bug net so that's why you can squeeze it down to this big i have one that has a bug net and a top cover that weighs 32 ounces that's extremely heavy this weighs 8.2 just to put that in perspective and the other one is let's see it's about that big at 32 ounces and and that's with uh, the carabiners coming out of it so it's uh, pretty significant and this thing as i showed you is about that big <laughs> and weighs nothing. I literally went from keeping my hammock in my, my regular part of my bag to leaving it right in the brain case so I can just pull my straps out, pull my hammock out, and put it up wherever I want without any hassle at all. So this has been awesome. They've got quite a few little colors. They got blue, red, this green. They've got a bright grass green. Um, you know, I personally, if you know my channel, I really like the um, foresty colors. I'm not real into bright colors. So me, this is perfect. This blends in with all my camo. Um, and I bought a 12 foot long bug net. They make one called the Warbler uh, that goes with the hummingbirds, but it's only eight feet long. So I really wanted to stay away from that. It's not expensive. It's under 50 bucks. And it too weighs eight ounces. So you can have a bug net and this for um, 16 ounces. That's amazing. Uh, uh, so what else? All their hammocks are ultralight, but this is the only one I have experience with. Um, they have a special process that they use to put all their ink on. And uh, it's pretty wild because there's no uh, ink left afterward. So, you know, like your printing adds weight. It adds ink. This adds no weight when they, when they dye these. Uh, it's a special process. I'm not even familiar with it, and I forget the name of it, uh, honestly. And the one drawback that I really don't like is when you get in, you know, when I'm facing one way, I want to look in that direction. And when you're laying flat like this, you get a huge sidewall, just a big sidewall. And uh, when you're trying to sleep, it's kind of nice. <laughs> but 
any other time, I want to be looking this way right now. I want to at least see here. From my point of view, this is what you're seeing. So, you know, you gotta... And then, now, it's a little better, but I've got to dig it into my armpit. So, that's about the only challenge that I have. Um, I can't say a good enough things about this. <laughs> I stepped up my game big time. 63 by 11 feet. It's like a California king in the forest. Yeah, it's, this is an amazing hammock. The handful of people that I've talked to that have them before I bought mine, no regrets. They love it. And um, this is a mid-budget item uh, with no bug net or anything coming in around the 70-ish mark here in June of 2021. Um, not cheap, not expensive either by far not expensive and for 8.2 ounces it goes head to head with all your ultralights especially for 11 feet i think that their uh their actual single model super ultralight is like 5.2 ounces don't quote me on that but this company's amazing so i'm all about it i really like this thing i've gotten quite a bit of use out of it i've taken it to the park a lot i take all mine to the park and watch the kids that way they think it's hilarious i get a lot of weird looks from the parents and I don't mind that either. Uh, this is uh, probably my fifth trip out camping with it. The link in the description box is not affiliated. I'm not trying to make any money off you. I'm just trying to get people to go out and enjoy. Don't bother setting up like this. I just, it's dangerous. I just did this because it's fun and uh, it makes a good video. But go outside. Have a good day.